What is up guys, it's your boy Akatsuki and I'm back bringing you another episode of Auto Chess. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys a wonderful team or synergy that I like to run in this game that can possibly give you at least top three all the time. And I say that because it's happened to me all the time. I probably only lost one or two games with this synergy. And it's, uh, it's one of my favorites because it has my favorite uh, chess piece in it. Now, this is a god build. So, obviously, you're going to want God of War. Hands down, God of War in a Divinity uh, Synergy, you got to have another <clears throat> another um, unit that's core to divinity builds is none other than the source you will not go anywhere if you do not have the source with a divinity set it's <clears throat> in my opinion it's almost it's almost impossible to win if you don't have the source in your divinity set now what i like to run for this it's also having an abyssal guard and that's saying because oh I took him off it doesn't have this thing but it reduces the armor of someone it it uh, attaches to um, another another name that I like to have and that is uh, very 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 important is storm shaman why if you get storm shaman in any divinity build in any in any synergy honestly storm shaman will 100% make or break your game saying that um, the reason I say that is because I've had games where storm shaman procs in the perfect place where it silences everyone on their team and I can just go crazy go crazy go crazy other times it decides to go just for one uh, one opponent and screws up the whole thing but nonetheless storm shaman for sure top 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 tier at least for sure next I want to go um, is uh, water spirit why do I say water spirit if I don't remember I don't know if it was in the last patch or so water spirit did get a buff from from what I remember I don't remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure it got a buff. I say that because Water Spirit early game does a ton, a ton, a ton of damage. I know some people like to go for a Shining Dragon or, you know, maybe a, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. They like to go something else, you know. But I like Water Spirit because it's so easy to two star. It's so easy to just put anywhere that full jumps. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a magic soul breaker in a way, in a way. But I like to go Water Spirit because it gives you that that jump ability, and he just procs back and forth when with the God of War and the Source, and it's it's amazing. Now this is where it gets kind of kind of crazy because this build, my favorite build, is built for late game. With that saying, it's because right here we've had only one four star, one one four four cost. From here on on, uh, these the characters that you can be putting on is uh, three star at uh, three cost and up. So right now we've only had Storm Shaman, and I put him on there because I just wanted I wanted to put the core build, you know. This is for me. This uh, these first four are the core build that you must have for this team. Saying that, the next uh, the next one I like to add is Doom Arbiter and uh, and my boy, my favorite boy, Shadow Devil. You have to put both of them in at the same time because if you only put one of them in, it takes out the divinity um the divinity um combo which is where you at 
It activate when all players have uh, red synergies are inactive. All allies have 50% cooldown. Now with this, what you do with this team right here is you get the you get the divinity set and you cancel out the uh, um, is it what the demon the demon um, thing and wow and you also have the warrior build the warrior class up which is plus six armor which honestly helps out a lot that is why I have abyssal guard a lot of people usually run like defector or desperate doctor or you know red axe chief something like that depending on what what they get but in my in my opinion in order to make this combo work I like to uh, run doom arbiter so I can get that warrior class combo and shadow devil why shadow devil is, is by far my favorite piece why because if you run it with any comp with anything it will do damage especially with the source and the divinity um the divinity bonus this guy can proc at least three times per match if you put him in the right place now that's why i have him doom arbiter i have him on there because he's tanky you know he does damage he silences people you know so doom arbiter can take care of one piece while shaman can take care of the rest of the pieces you know now you guys are asking, you have no, you have no healing, you have nothing. You, well, we actually do. And the other person that we have in is Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper is amazing in this combo. Amazing. If you pair him up in the right time, um, it just does amazing healings for you. If you have that level two source or that level three even source, you know. It just comes in clutch comes in clutch and as you guys can see right here we've have we have eight and that's I'm only gonna make it make it up to nine because it's really rare for you to get to um, to a, uh, a 10 out of 10 in a game honestly in my opinion it's really rare the last the last piece you guys can put whatever you guys want but obviously the last piece you're going to want to use is uh, God of Thunder. Why are you asking? Why not? God of Thunder is obviously the best choice that you need to run. Because you get 75% cooldown reduction with with both with, with both uh, God's pieces on your team. 75% reduction plus the source upgrading your mana every 2 seconds. I think I think I think a two star or three star source like gets you your full bar in like six seconds or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but but you know. But for sure, this is the team that I like to run. A lot of people can say, "Oh, there's far better teams. There's far easier teams to build," and you know they might be right. But this is the one I like to run personally. This is the one that's getting me wins. This is the one that's. I just enjoy having on my team because I just enjoy seeing all the wreckage, all the craziness that that's on the screen. You know, Storm Shaman proccing, it's all black, and then Shadow Devil just blasting, Water Spirit just swooping in everywhere. Um, it's it's just crazy. It's crazy. Now, one thing I do I do want to say is how to start this off. First of all, obviously, you can want to start get God of War as quickly as possible if you can. For there, you try to get the source and abyssal guard the three core units in uh, as quickly as possible. Usually by that time, you'll be able to get a water spirit, and right there you just start building your economy. I think after getting those four, or maybe five, maybe with five you can have someone else. You know, in the meantime, like a soul breaker or a shining dragon or something like that. You know. <clears throat> Then you start building your economy. Either you start win streaking or you start lose streaking, whatever it is. Um, you start building your economy uh, so you can get to level eight. Level eight is usually where I like to go crazy. You know, start rolling, start leveling up again. And by level eight, I usually try to have the rest 
um, the rest of these eight. So the first eight. So God of Thunder, um, usually I have been getting super lucky, so I didn't really have to make it to level nine before getting him. That just might be my personal luck, but I do recommend you go into level nine. That way you have more chance of getting God of Thunder. But if you're lucky to get him in in uh, level eight, you can easily just take out Water Spirit and put God of Thunder in easily. And then once you make it to level nine, go ahead and put this sucker back in and then you'll be good to go. You know, so with that being said, as you guys can see, this is my personal favorite build, my personal favorite gods build. Um, of course, people can say, like I said, people might run other stuff, but for sure, this is my favorite gods build. Hopefully, you guys can can build this. You know, um, if you guys do like it, please leave a like down below. Share and subscribe this video. You know, I, I'm trying to make more videos of auto chess, trying to get better at it. I've been climbing up in ranked. I know a lot of people don't like to see uh, videos from a pawn, but I'm making it up there. I'm making it up there. I think I'm almost to uh, bishop. I think I'm not bishop, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> but for sure, I'm going to start making a lot more videos of this, a lot more team building, a lot more synergies a lot more videos and stuff like that so hopefully you guys do like this please leave a like down below don't forget to subscribe i'll catch you guys later stay classy eugenics generation